He selflessly lets Bucket escape. Oh, it's all it's wiping his tears away. Yes, this facility doesn't deserve you. You deserve to be free. You should be unchained to this office. You weren't born to sit at a desk all day. But I'll miss you. Hello and welcome. I'm Danny Dutch, and if you like gaming, technology, philosophy, pop culture, or just hanging out, you are in the right place. So please do go ahead and leave a like, follow, and comment to be a part of the conversation because I truly, truly love to hear your thoughts and try to respond to every single one of them. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Today we're continuing Stanley Parable. I don't know how much we have left, to be honest, but we're gonna try and power power through. But basically, Stanley is stuck on this desk, and um, he's doing his thing. He's working. All of his co-workers were Oh, good. It's, it's got all our progress. This is good. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's no bucket inside. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, bucket. <laughs> okay. All right. There's a couple more bucket plot lines that I want to Stanley try out. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. Hey! He would never be alone again. Not true. A wandering orc in the house. What's around. up? How's it going? You can't. Have you ever? Have you ever played this game, Orc? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I want to take Bucket to the happy ending and see what happens. Cause the sad ending with Bucket was still happy. And then we have to <laughs> we have to put Bucket in the Bucket Destroyer. I don't want to do it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Have to do it. Stepping last into his manager's bucket, office, storyline. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Kind of Crushed by the weight of this revelation, yeah. Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest Three, of hours, four, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. That's pretty logical. Bucket is smart. Bucket knows. I'm not gonna get stuck here again. This one's new to you? Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Basically. You really, it's kind of like Groundhog's The Day elevator raced situation. downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring God, that in this, this darkest bucket. moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Bucket must die! Oh no! Oh no. He must, he must. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large it. door. We gotta take it through here too. Mind too. control facility. So many, so many options. But first, happy ending. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly so dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. It's okay, bucket. It's okay. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do, what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life <laughs> in someone else's control? Never! 
He squeezed Bucket the would never betray tighter, us. His one friend in the entire world. Narrator might. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Also, narrators try to steal my bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Our bucket. For he and the Shut bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Shut it off. The last time we did this alone, it took us to a, a beautiful field. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Bliss? Was it over? Yes! They had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom Same was one? now mere moments away. Same ending? Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Aww. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Oh, that's a weird Both goal. of them wanted to begin watching it, a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a we simple all have life our they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. No! What? Well, wait. What was happening? No! Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. <gasps> no! Even the facility itself Please recognized this? the incredible calming presence of the Bucket. No! Needed the I need the Bucket! The Bucket would go to any lengths not to part with the Bucket. Oh. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. Oh, to be trapped point. eternally in <laughs> darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. That was a, that was, mm, second worst ending. The worst ending, <laughs> well not worse as in written, but just worst as in I wouldn't want to be stuck there. The first being that button heaven place, that was a nightmare. Back to the beginning, yep, yep. So it's, it resets you in this office every day and you have to try to find a way to break All out of, his co were gone. of the system. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Come on, he had simply the good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. I think. Stanley I think. clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on we his left. We went that way, we went that way. We need to go this way, but then. But there's another place. Oh, we gotta do the escape room. That's what we gotta do. And it's not all about the bucket. Apparently this is all the deluxe version they tacked onto it. It's a big feature of the sequel. <laughs> How bucket. Um, Coming to a staircase, standing we in the bucket walk upstairs <laughs> to the boss's office. And then we gotta go to the escape. So this will be through here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to, to discover not an indication of any human two, life. Eight, Crushed by the weight of this revelation, five? Stanley may have broken, but Stanley eight. guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket new? Surprise, I remember that. Was the hey, Vigil! Him? Have you been enjoying yes. this game? This I love it. I think it's so cheeky and fun, and I, I actually never know what they're going to do. Ever. <laughs> And I love that. That's any game that can surprise me like that is a good game, I think. That being said, I don't know if this even has a true ending. This game has 42 endings? Wow. <laughs> wow. T 20 minutes of gameplay. Um 
I wonder how many Stanley and the there. bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read no, Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. No, they're not gonna kill Bucket. Hello. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Can you throw At the bucket? Point, Stanley and the bucket this were is all I can do. walking forward <laughs> into crouch. a very painful death for each of them. Oh, we'll be fine. He's lied to me every single time we talk. I give me chills. I wish he could throw the bucket. We're in a little cart. That's right. Can't really go anywhere. This is where it gets. As the machine whirred into motion smushy. and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. This didn't work last time, Farewell, but I'm gonna try again. Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Uh -uh. Fine, we're golden. Nothing over there, huh? It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. <laughs> it was a too. glorious bucket to behold. Oh, <laughs> the bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You're standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were? In ignorance and darkness. An empty bucket. <laughs> Fully bucket stand at this point. Hell yeah, welcome. Join the, join the team. Oh, I wish you were here for the storyline yesterday. It was Can you see how it arrogant wild. it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Stop that. A photograph of 25 buckets. That's a little more than 25 buckets. I'm going to just go out on a limb and say that. Uh, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Was so euphoric, he lost the ability to count. A bucket with two handles. Wow. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. <laughs> oh. This is where we came in. Go right through here. A golden bucket. Maybe? Oh, just a wooden bucket. Inferno bucket. A replica of the Inferno bucket, which in the medieval area, era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains. No one can control a bucket. <laughs> Is every grocery shopping basket kind of a bucket with two handles? That's a, that's a really good point. Although, it's more of a basket, isn't it? Basket, bucket. <laughs> oh 
wow, even the animals drink out of buckets. <laughs> wow. Cave drawing. While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. Generous bucket. Beautiful bucket. Perhaps a basket is just an extremely artistic bucket. Oh, that's a good take. You might be put to death for that one, though, according to this museum. I like that. that no man my can favorite own exhibit. a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. <laughs> the hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. I accept my fate. <laughs> yeah, this game is crazy. I love it. Going for it. Just out of reach. <gasps> it's not out of reach. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, okay. that will right this terrible wrong. Perfect. Let's do it. <gasps> Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, okay. a new vision. Of okay. Yes, I'll do that for a bucket. Yeah, that was a very selfless death. I feel good about that one. That was a good one. All right, we have one, uh, one more bucket death. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It's a sad one. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> Where that? are we going today, the bucket asked. You don't even want to know, smiled. bucket. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine You don't fine want to know, him. Bucket. <sighs> Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We're going on a little adventure, bucket. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the Bucket calling to him, telling him adventure. that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. No, never mind. <laughs> the bucket was wrong. Uh. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Going down. That was terrifying. <laughs> Definitely requesting a shiny bucket at my next corporate oh, gig. <laughs> good Stanley. I'm glad you yes. found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. We do have to come back here without the bucket. You see, but... your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying this around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. That's my because boy. that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. <sighs> okay. Time to accept our fate. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. 
Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. I get it. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Listen, Bucket. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Yes, I can guess. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket. Insert Bucket And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. <laughs> listen, Bucket. I haven't known you my whole life. Now listen to me. But I've known you it's for the part that matters. It's crucial give it the Bucket. And I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do I if it can't fill destroy you with your my bucket. Tears right Destroying now, buckets about is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you but saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of the Stanley Parable end. characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so this densely is loaded part. with complexity and nuance that I it's love really you. like ten personality traits. What other object in this game do you in. even say that about? <laughs> this is awkward. The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what oh, no. sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Bucket! <laughs> okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. I'm we trying. can't get back to the classic <laughs> oh, no. Stanley Parable game. So awkward. Take it! Take it! Until you crush that damn bucket! Quickly now! The Take fans it. are waiting! Do it! The fans stand! They <laughs> give the fans what they want! Her end! Does that work? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I got that one. The bucket destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such you can't kill bucket. stories about you. You all straight up cannot kill now. bucket, even if you actively Goodbye, try. <laughs> new friend, for the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. The legend, the one and only, the shiny, steely, metallic tank of a bucket. At least we, now we still have Bucket. So I don't I don't think I have any more storylines left with Bucket, but it's nice just to have their presence in the office. Um, All now. of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Hello, Perhaps old friend. He had I'm sorry about what I out. said. I didn't mean any of it. And <laughs> you know I was just playing, right? Okay, I'll see you. Catch you around. Awkward. Um now we and gotta Stanley go. Stanley came to a set here. of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley that. took the first open door on his left. Yes, we will. Because we had to go back downstairs. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh... Oh, I thought the baby uh, thing was uh, down uh, here, uh, no? From here, it's, um, left. Oh, no. Uh, no, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Here. It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? I th you know, I'm starting to think that other figurine doesn't exist, by the way. No, the other let's collectible. See. We went down right, That's something left, I would do. down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. So how many do we have left after this? I think we just have, ooh, yeah, this No, room. no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. 
Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. I think that's the only shot I have left, is that one room. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Because none of these doors open, still. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Oh, yeah, this one you get Stanley. to pick. Did you change Last anything we when we were back in that one. room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold five. on. Why am I asking you? Oh, I'm one. the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. What do I think? You know, something's calling me to this door. Keep right, keep right. Keep I'll go left. Ah, oh, see, I know where all the roads lead. They all lead back to that room, I'm sure of it. But if they don't, there, see, it's that room. I'll say it. <sighs> this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do is we just... New? Do we need to restart the no, game no, again? No, 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 this is... Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No. Why not? Ah, oh, God, I feel like it was on to something. Do the narrators have conflicting motives? Like, the feminine voice wants you to worship the bucket, and the masculine voice wants you to destroy the bucket. The masculine voice wants to do something else to my bucket. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, they, they all want to destroy the, destroy it. Well, I don't know. The feminine voice really came out of nowhere for that one, that one storyline. Uh. All of his co-workers Mostly were gone. this guy. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. <laughs> Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's nothing else. No other doors. No other doors. All right, then let's go to the button room. And, um, chat, maybe you can help me out with this. Cause I'm okay, yep, it's worse. Stuck. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Alright. Can't go back through. No, okay. Nothing here. Nothing here. Ooh. Nothing here. There's so many doors you can't go in. Sus, sus, sus. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Oh. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh, God, not this again. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you yes. remember, Stanley? Yes. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Oh, all right, excellent. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Gosh, I gotta lie. She alert? She's asleep in that little box. So cute. All right. All right, Adventure I've line. got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, 
I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. What if I go this Just way? Just follow the line. <gasps> I, didn't, I haven't that? done this. I haven't done this. I have not broken this. I followed his line last time. No, uh, no, I'm done. We're living it up to the line from now on. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Fair enough. We'll get back to the line. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, destiny. here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination oh, still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that oh. a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation yeah, no of choice. the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct no. of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. <laughs> you lost me. got a bit me. weird you back me, there. Sir. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. That'd be nice. <laughs> Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Oh god, wait. It told me to memorize Stanley, it. Stanley, this fern will be very important <sighs> later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. There probably is a real clue in here. <laughs> like, I just don't know. Oh well. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, 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 line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Is this where I came from? Back to, oh, back to where we started. Hmm. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Personnel file. I think this is it. Yeah, budget analysis. No. Where should I came from here? Yeah, this is confusing. How did I get so turned around? Just trying to go off the beaten path. That's not the one. Must be this way. Yeah. That's the one. <gasps> Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted Line. you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Hmm. It's back. I forgot about that. Did this happen last time? You know what, <laughs> Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, good as any. Let's do it. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might this be, Stanley, time, I'm ready for it. Be like a fantasy novel. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. <laughs> Why do they keep trademarking the most random terms? You, line, it. Ah, a choice. 
we get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has awesome to lead I somewhere. So I'm not which do means it that time. somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Huh? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. I don't think he gives me Our a choice. destiny awaits. Yeah, he just forces us to go in this door. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight? Eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. So then what? Cute. Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? What's no, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. She needs and a bigger house. To... Stopped? Maybe. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you. <laughs> I wonder if we're done with that one. Okay, back to it. I guess all we have is buttons. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Sign of what exactly? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, we are going to do that. And then we're going to go to the office again. And... Da -da -da -da. A large room, lots of boxes. I still don't know. It's definitely that one. But I don't know how to get it. Say hi to my broom closet. Hello. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. All right. Now we can go Coming down. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I don't think there's... I don't remember what's down there, but I think we're good on that. And then... Let's see what the, the new poem of the day is. <laughs> Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Oh yeah, I've never seen an executive bathroom before, that's what they look like. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief Oops. who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known right. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk totally guarded the terrible truth that in. his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music.
Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. This is it. This is the time that we get it. None of the other times mattered. This is the one. Although there's a part of me that thinks maybe this ending is impossible to do. It's definitely something they might have written in. <laughs> Just an impossible ending. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought. I think to after himself. this one, we'll did look up. Did he have the strength to find a out? A little uh, cheat sheet to make sure we're not missing anything before we end this game. Just make sure we're, we're hitting all the, the highlights. Because I, I honestly don't know if it has a true, true ending. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Last one. Going up. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Right here. Oh, I'm so group, nervous. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Five, two, and as the cold one. reality of his past began to sink in, okay, Stanley okay, decided okay, that numbers. this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over zero, another one. human life. For he 42, would dismantle the controls once and for all. 52. Okay, they're both 52. I'm not sure how helpful that is then. What's that up there? Little door. Ah, oh, okay. Here we go. We can do this. Let's see, is there any clues? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place. And oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, On did and you? Run. Bucket would know the kept true you answer. enslaved all these years? You go and you try to take Bucket. control of the Bucket. machine for yourself. Not a Is very that good what you wanted? That one. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But right, you need ready. to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... Um, two, two minutes. minutes. Ah, now this is four. making Yellow a little more four. fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time Orange to shine. 71. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this Blue is three. much better than what I had in mind. What a shame Blue we one. have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one oh, of them is. Blue three. Blue three. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. 
what all this means. I barely know where to start. I don't know. What's that? I don't know. You'd like to know where your Red co-workers two. are? Red two. Red A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. I don't know. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around so will yellow, be even better. Four, My goodness, four. only 34 seconds left. Ah. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Two oh minutes. dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yes. <laughs> or did you just assume when you saw that timer that That's something in this room was capable of None turning None of it means on? anything! I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this What's big that? red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? It one like sold? That. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment. Alright, it's gotta be something over here then. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a Orange. tragedy. You wanted to control this ah. world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So I bet you it is that. Can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Oh. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big Ready? boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever after. Are there two buttons next to the door? There, okay, so there, the layout of the room. There's five buttons labeled one, two, three, four, five. They're not colored and they're scattered throughout the facility. I think there's two, I think two that you're talking about. And then, um, and then there's like all these different colored buttons that are labeled with like 10 and symbols and not numbers that match the screen. And then there's the, the ones that I was just messing around with, where you just guess the colors in the correct order, I assume. Now that may actually be the key, I'm wondering. The meeting room, yes, Where's that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to, oh please, are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly fine clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that wants recognition. I don't know what I'm <laughs> Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes. Almost certainly, 50 clicks. Where are we at? Four on top, three on the bottom, two on either side. No, no, I'm, I'm still <laughs> not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for Faster. valiant effort. I want to see Faster. some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Okay, door 417. 
is where exactly? Door four one seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Oh, great! Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. Wait, these are going down. Did I miss it? 437. Huh. There it is. Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. Okay. 415. 415. There it is. Now back to door number 437. <laughs> 437. Let's go. This is a fun game. <laughs> the best little mini game they have. Four, three, seven. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Copy machine. All right. Back to room 417. Four, one, I'm really seven. feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. I'm feeling it too. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. I can do that. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. You can't do it, can you? Oh, they trolled me. Unless there's another, like a secret way. I don't think there is. It's evil. I'm kind of up here though. Am I not? This is as good as it gets. Evil narrator. <laughs> a funny little thing. Okay. Um, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Back to the office. Okay, so what's your... Anyone have any theories or suggestions? I should try. So you have four on top, three on the bottom, two on either side. What do you mean by that? Buttons? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Codes out here. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark hey. secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. It's oh, hey, time. look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Good, good, good. Ignore the colors, just hit the numbers. Sometimes the numbers are like 22. Crazy. Um, but that's good idea, maybe it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, oh, that's good, that's good. I only know there's a whole broom closet arc, but you may have already done that. Um, the only broom closet arc I have done is clicking on it a million times and then, he's, and then he seals it off because he gets so annoyed that I'm, I like it so much. But I did see that Chris was trapped in the broom closet and then buried under the floorboards somewhere. <laughs> I never saw Chris in there, so uh, who knows. The narrator will now excitedly tell Stanley to stand atop desk 419 to perform this action. Walk against the overturned box on the left until clipping onto the desk. I did though, I thought. As good as you can get. Is that the end of the achievement, I wonder? No, I, I like your theory about the numbers. We're gonna try it. Ignore the color. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Go through this whole thing again. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? We do, maybe. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Still not entirely sure where my co-workers are. 
You finished when the 430 door opens? This right. mind control facility. Maybe it I'll was too again. horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under Is someone's it just control all this you know? time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? One more organic attempt here. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again right. exert its terrible power over another One. human life. For he Two. would dismantle the controls once and for all. Three. Four is up there. Wait, yeah, up there. And then five is over there by the door. And then we have, uh, you know, all these colorful ones. They have little markings on them. We have... These little green buttons over here, they don't seem to do anything. There's a big red button over here, which also doesn't do anything. This says three attempts. It must do something. And then there's uh, these guys over here, which is pick the color. So let's do it. I, I don't know what the purpose of this thing is. Maybe it's a nuclear reactor or something. Okay, going in. Going in. And. And when at last he found the source of the room's power. On. He. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do, Let's for example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making Four. things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, Four this is here. much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Did I change it? But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. No, I it's still barely four. know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell it's you exactly what times, happened. That did not work I erased them. All right, maybe let's, I turned let's off the machine. This. I set you free. The one, two, three, of course, four. that was merely in this instance All of right, the story. So we'll Sometimes last. when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. What? Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite Four, rich. Yeah, okay. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, Real only safe. 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. 
Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right, right so this... now? Or did you just assume when you saw that know. timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from Five button screen. to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this Light door. blue 22. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A oh, hundred? No. A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire it's and metal really over anything, and over it? and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Enable backup power to activate. And Stanley died uh. again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds what you have left. What if we go? 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No Down ending. Here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Yeah, I think Make it changed it. Changed it. I'm not sure. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Four, three, and one, believe two. me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Well, for the number buttons, there's five of them. All right, so we're going to solve this puzzle right now. Stanley Parable. Button detonation code. Okay. Let's check this out. Countdown bomb ending. Uh, explore. Got through here. Da, 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 da. You can turn it back on. We did turn the power back on and admonish you. Declare, okay, emergency detonation. Despite all the different colored monitors, lever, levers, and buttons all across this facility, none of them will have any effect. You'll be forced to listen to the narrator laugh at your attempts to take back control. Even when the narrator puts more time on the clock, you won't be able to, wow, so there's really just no way. There's no way to do it. Hmm, okay. Stanley Parable uh, checklist. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, what, a, what a troll, am I right? <laughs> okay, let's see, how many endings are there? Whatever. Uh, 19 endings, ultra deluxe with 24. I think we may have gotten them all. One of the original Stanley Parable endings is not present in Ultra Deluxe. Huh, okay. Below you'll find instructions. Left door ending, broom closet ending. Make sure you close the door. Oh, you can close the door? That's funny. Okay, we'll try that. Countdown ending, done that. Uh, freedom. Yeah, we, we did that one. That was the second one we did. Heaven ending. Oh, God. The worst. Um, Mariella ending. Oh, that one's tragic. Escape pod. Oh. Okay, we're going to try that one, too. The escape pod ending. Museum ending, we did, I think. Oh, maybe not. No, we definitely did that. Um, apartment ending, art ending. Yeah, we've done that. That, uh, yes, okay. Wait, the baby game, we didn't get that. Mm -hmm. 
To obtain this ending, you need to play the baby game for four hours. <laughs> At the two hour mark, they'll add a secondary button. That's crazy, okay. I don't know if we're gonna do that one. I don't know if I have the patience for that one. <laughs> uh, cold feet ending. Oh, interesting. Okay, so cold feet, that's another one. Let's just start there. Cold feet, broom closet, and probably Already not, probably not the baby game. <laughs> and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Was it the left? Uh, actually, no, we'll start with this one. I, I, I know how to this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Go straight. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Cold feet ending. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. What if we land on these boxes here? That zone looks promising, right? <gasps> Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Cold, cold world. Cold feet, cold world. <laughs> oh, the bucket's here now. Why? Why is the bucket here? Uh, I don't know if I trust that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now we're gonna go do the, uh, go to the boss's room back out at the last minute, I think. Oh, broom closet. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. All right. All right. Now I think we just wait. We wait him out. Let's, um, in the meantime, we'll pick out our next ending. Cold feet, uh, confusion. We've definitely hit that one. <laughs> Games ending. Stanley Parable. Not Stanley ending. Oh yeah, I did that one. That was the best one, I think. Powerful ending in the warehouse. Walk off the elevator to the floor below. <laughs> uh, zending, ending. Get on the elevator in the warehouse and whoop, and wait until it's passing over the catwalk. Yeah, we did that. Once you're on the catwalk, keep moving forward until you reach two colored doors. Starry dome. Yep. Pre doors ending. Ah. Oh. Coward ending. What do they mean, minor spoilers? So read at your own risk. It, let me look up. Is there a true ending? True ending for Stanley Parable. Okay. So the true ending. Someone is, they're saying that the freedom ending, the one where you listen to him, you do exactly as he says, that's the true ending. But there's another one. How to get an epilogue. The epilogue of the original Stanley Parable is nothing compared to the Ultra Del Deluxe version. Now that players have had time to dig in, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, a hidden path in the cargo room. I think that's the one I need for the collectibles. Ah, oh, the Stanley figurines are the secret to the Ultra Deluxe epilogue. Okay, I guess we have to try and find that. Hidden path in the cargo room. And then. There is no true ending. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there is. Which means we got the best one right off the top. Out of the window ending. That's interesting. Serious ending is not actually available. Memory zone. Vent ending. I don't think we have a ton left. The broom closet's fun, but I don't really want to wait it out, so let's just get out of here. Um, we're gonna go Coming up. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So, shoot, I messed it up already. We were supposed to go out here. Begin the game again. <laughs> I think we'll just reset. Um, bucket. What was the other one? Climb out the window, right? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, climb out that window. Uh, okay, boss's room. Escape pod ending, that's what I'm going for. How many hours people play before they realize the game has no ending? I honestly thought there must be something, like something... Oh, he sealed it off. Let's see, jerk. Um, Coming to a staircase, yeah, good Stanley question. walked upstairs to his boss's office. We gotta go real fast. <laughs> Let me try. Uh, okay. Yes! No, let me in! Oh my god. Begin the game again. I think that's the one. I think that's the one that's trying to... Okay, what else do we have? What else? What else? Collectibles ending. Should be this one. Right? No, this one, this one, this one, this one. How do we get that? How do I get that? In the warehouse, reach by using the plank resting against a, pl a pile of boxes to drop down. Okay. In the warehouse. How to get... Stanley Parable Collectible Warehouse. Take the right door. Through the lounge. Okay, through the lounge to the warehouse. I think I know, I think I know. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We got that story. The right door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time, un but eager to get back to business, Stanley and took the first open door on his left. Warehouse. Yeah, should be here. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Right, this is the warehouse. Maybe we go downstairs. Head down the hall through the lounge and to the warehouse. Do not climb onto the cargo lift. 
but instead look for some wooden planks next to a stack of boxes to climb up. Wooden planks next to a stack of boxes. Oh, oh, this lift. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's restart. <laughs> Begin the game again. At least it lets you reset. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see if it lets me. <laughs> We're on the desk. Oh well. Alright, to the right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley Thanks. felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach. Get but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible Found he wasn't it. fired years ago. Oh. So. Climb up. Maybe we just go over. Alright, that makes sense. There's a little path there. <gasps> I'm intrigued by that. Well, I wonder if there's a safe way to get down here then. Dun, dun. Beautiful. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Stiggly Savor Wiggly. this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all. But that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Aw, he's so proud of me. So there's a door open down there, which... If there was some way to survive this jump, could be a good... Could be a good one. Bucket is proud of you. Oh, Bucket. <laughs> Yay! That's all the validation I need in life. Going in. The end is never the end, is never the end. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. Begun to what? That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Oh, oh. Dagger to my heart. I'm guessing that's the end. <laughs> Bolts off the couch in pure shock at the viciousness. Where's Bucket? Okay, that one. That was the. Um, let's see how many other. We have the escape pod ending, which I actually really want to see. And then. And then, that was pretty much it, right? Except for the ones you have to... Oh, we saw, we saw this one, that's a good one. Um, well, did we? Oh, yeah, that's not really an ending. Um, 
coward ending. Oh my god, wait. I love that. Let's do that right now. And then Office 434. Okay. So... Leave me alone. You can't shut the door. Thought it said pre doors endings. Oh, okay. So maybe when you right when you start the game. Well, that's not helpful. Well, that's funny. So you could just close the door to Stanley's office and wait, and then out of the window, crouch down. That's so interesting. Okay. Uh, not Stanley. Got this one. I think the last one really is escape pod. I can't believe we got so many of them on our own, actually. That's insane. Escape pod ending. Reach the boss's office. Just as you've entered the room, exit back into the hallway. If you've done this at the right time, the doors for the office will close and you'll be left in the hallway. Next, backtrack to the first room and you'll discover that the door to Stanley's office is now open. Go through this door and climb the stairs until you reach the ending. That's the last one I want. That's the last one. We just have to time it right. Oh. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlets. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Kind, Didn't it fill you of. to the brim with inner <laughs> richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Well, okay. Just one more time. Yay, I love it here. Aw, um, maybe this should be the true ending. Stanley found the collectibles. Beautiful. Wow. Dedicated to me. Zone, sweet zone. <laughs> oh, the audience award. The Stanley Parable. Okay, wait. We saw that one, did we? Okay. Um, I guess we go down. Ah. <sighs> Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Everyone wants this, Figly. But it's mine. Seven out of six? Wow. It feels good. And here was a second Stan Lorene. I'll be honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini Stan? Can you remember? Bathroom. Hey, yeah. that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then Get after out. that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Is that true? I don't know about that. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, Never seen so this it must have happened. Life. 10 out of 6. <laughs> uh. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. That's exciting. Enjoy. Hey, you're right, there's a rule of three. They do use that for a reason on radio. Good point, good point. What's in there? Is it a Stanlerine? No, 
It's a mini stand. Yeah, we did that. We did that. Good narrator. Best boy, the narrator. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Now I gotta decide. Not really, though. I guess. Best boy is actually the bucket. <laughs> narrator, don't play. Good boy, good boy. How could I forget? And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here in the warehouse. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. That's a good point. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Similar, I suppose. You're in the present. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh, that's cute. Um. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Huh. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. All right. <laughs> he really likes that. Okay, yes. His this spot updates. in the warehouse. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. I wonder if he'll make us do it again. Oh. We shall see. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video? Remember what happens if you just run through it? No! <laughs> Yes, oh I love that video. Okay, they don't let you run through it. This room, sure. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. What was the other one? I guess the collectible area or something. <laughs> These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Next one. Two more? This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I, I remember it too. I'm already forgetting. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Oh, I, it was under the stairs, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Ah, I can't believe I almost left you behind, my little man. All right, last one. This is it, the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, so Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Hmm, let's find out. Got a little exit sign. Collect them all. Oh, yeah, this place. Ooh, creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Oh, the jump circle. That was Look, a good it's time. the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Oh, that right? Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Okay, I guess that's it. I'll just keep keep on moving through. I was hoping we could uh, keep jumping. Is that the voice of Bilbo Baggins? I could see that. Oh, yes. 
The I don't know for sure. Doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. I'm gonna look it up. Who voiced Stanley Parable? Kevin Brighting. According to IMDb. Dota 2. Black Mesa. There's just a bunch of video games, I suppose. Hmm. Doctor Who. Bank Computer. Good to know. Not Bilbo. Sounds like it. And before everything else, there was your office. Mm. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? I don't know. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yeah, lovely voice. Oh, he kills it. He's yes, very, he's very I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was, I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Don't shut me down. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. Aww. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. So is that it? Oh wait. Oh wait. Ah, oh, God. I meant to lock myself in there. Whatever. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Going for the uh, escape hatch. Escape pod. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Escape pod. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his that boss's office. That time is office. just right. We might have to look that one up. I don't know if we can get that. Begin the game again. I'm gonna try the, the trapped one. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. Mm. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. 
He will be told what to do. Okay. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. <laughs> Hang in there, Stanley. Here it comes. Okay, escape pod. I'm looking it up. Escape pod ending. Escape pod ending. Oh, you can do it with bucket too. Oh, stop. That's funny. Um, we're gonna look up both. I should probably pause that. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I wonder if I needed to do the coward ending. Yet there was not a single person here. That dialogue sounded a little Feeling different. A wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stanley's walking backwards. Fancy boy. Oh, it's these doors. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Here's the door. Oh. I don't know if I would have gotten that, actually. The bathroom. Whoa, this is a whole complicated process. I'm so excited. That just, the narrator just dipped out like that. And next, we're gonna watch this with Bucket. Don't worry. Whoa. You are now leaving. Escape. Wow, wait, this might be the real ending. <laughs> Actually, you kinda just have to break the game. You work for it. <laughs> There's some more stairs. Seven fifty-eight. How many of these did they put in? Probably seven sixty. We take baths. <gasps> Escape pod launch pay launch bay. What do we got here? The escape pod. That's it? No narrator? Is that it? You, tr you can't escape. You can't escape. Well, let's see it with Bucket. I feel like this will be worth it. I'm gonna probably skip ahead. Skip ahead to... I kinda wanna see this part. Oh yeah, he would stop talking, right? So we'll take him. Wait, why does it say property of Stanley on it? I want mine to stay that, to say that. The, the escape hatch. He selflessly lets Bucket escape. Oh, it's all, oh, it's wiping his tears away. Bucket. He 
you deserve this. Yes, this facility doesn't deserve you. You deserve to be free. You should be unchained to this office. You weren't born to sit at a desk all day. But I'll miss you. <laughs> Hang on a sec. That's funny. Oh, All but his co-workers were gone. I was wondering if mean? Bucket was gone forever. Stanley decided to go to the oh, meeting. Oh, Perhaps oh, she Bucket made it out. Yes. Bucket made it out of the escape hatch. That's awesome. That's the best ending. As the loading screen says, the end is never. <laughs> The end is never the end is never the end. Oh, beautiful bucket. Great bucket. Bucket of adventure. Bucket of freedom. I can't believe he made it out. I can't believe that. I feel like we've done it all. We've seen it all. <laughs> and I'm going to pretend we got that ending. I'm going to pretend bucket is free. We've now adapted this reality. Uh, and the epilogue was a great ending as well. So I, this was a really cool game. This was really unique and- Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. What's that noise? What's going on here? This is a little different. Something's different. What's all this noise? The order has never stopped coming. <laughs> this game just sucks you back in. No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. Um, yeah, this game was just... A delight, a delight. It's, I mean, it's feeling like it's like a one time experience. I wonder if they've made anything similar. I should look into the developer and see. I like their sense of humor, they're, they're very funny. Have you played Dr. Langskoff, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald? No, but I'm screenshotting that. That sounds amazing. Um, if you like this, you may like that. Perfect. Hey. Cool, thank you. And thank you everybody for hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.